be it any part of your area it doesn't really matter then I click on next here hey my friends Jean-Serge Gagnon here and today we're going to talk about YouTube using shorts to YouTube to grow your audience now obviously you sh any video content is always great YouTube shorts is something that's relatively new and I'm going to show you a few little tricks that I've learned over the little while that's the last little while to show you how to actually use YouTube shorts for your content so we'll get to that in a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets all right so YouTube shorts it's just a version of YouTube it's kind of like TikTok on YouTube right so we're going to get to that but before we do that I want to remind you if you're listening to the audio of this you're going to want to go check out the video at cis434.jsgagnon.com because I will be sharing my screen I'll be sharing my phone screen as well to show you how that works so let's uh, get right to it uh let me go over here I'm going to share my screen all right so there you go so that's my phone right here you can see my phone I'm scrolling my phone up and also in the background you can kind of see that that's the desktop view so in YouTube depending on whether you're accessing it with your desktop if I let's just hide this the phone for now if you're on your desktop right you're going to notice that these videos um you can't uh can you even see that it's a short not not really I guess you can't really see the when I look through these videos so first of all you go to your uh, channel right if you go to your channel let's open up so so you know how to get to that right so let's go to your channel if you go to your own channel in YouTube you probably already know how to get access to that but I'm just want to make sure that it's clear as to how to access the shorts if you click on the shorts right here on your channel you can see just the shorts on your channel right so kind of like what we did on my phone uh you can see can you see the views yeah you can see the views right here 30 780 28 20 if you sort them by popular then you see the most viewed 7.9k 26 1.2780 right so you see the sorted by how many views they had right um now if you want to go manage your channel right does it manage videos this is this thing uh, you click on your videos right here it takes you to the actual view that we were at a second ago if we wait for it to load up here yeah because it takes you to YouTube creator studio right and if we can see but you know when you look at the content from here they might maybe by the time you watch this you might there might be another tab here or something but you don't see that they're you know you only see uh the posts here and you see the number of views here you can tell that they're shorts by the fact that they're like these vertical things but the thing you have to realize that it's not because it's vertical that it's a short that's not how you define a short a short is uh well 60 seconds or less is what they have for shorts they might have them longer now or by the time you watch this but that's kind of what it's uh, supposed to be so you can see right here that I have different shorts 15 seconds 16 seconds different number of views right you can see this one 597 views 296 views and you know I'm still learning how to make of a short have more views than others but if it's anything like TikTok it's all just based on reactions you got like see this one here it's got two likes on it well this one has two likes as well and it's only got 30 views this one's got 700, 780 views right so it can't be just about that um and this one here has 17 likes 1200 views 413 views only one like so I'm not sure if it's the content if it's the text you use in here and all that but the other thing too is that you can create a short without um well there's different ways to create shorts so let's just go on the phone here and kind of show you a few little things 
so first let's turn this phone on again okay so let's move it over here so we have a better view of the phone okay so now when I'm on my phone right down the bottom you see there's a little plus down the bottom here you can say create a short upload a video or go live right depending on your account I'm not sure if go live is uh, I forget whether that's limited but we're just talking about shorts right here if I click on create a short it brings up this like screen right I can flip it around I can say hey how's it going right kind of the same as TikTok or stories or other things right where you can actually um create shorts you can upload and the thing that I do is like lots of times I will let's actually do that right now lots of times I create a short from a TikTok video or maybe from a Snapchat story or from a different sources of videos that I already have that are vertical videos that's one of the things about shorts they're vid videos up top you're going to see there's a 15 second thing if I tap that it gives me the option to do a 60 second one versus a 15 second one right and that's if you're recording it live right if I'm recording it live let's do a short that I'm recording live right now I'm actually going to make it let's flip it around over here I'm just going to record right now on my phone while we're doing this episode hey how's it going John Serge Gagnon here so I'm doing actually a recording this short here to show you how to do shorts in YouTube so now I pause the recording and I can actually flip it around right I can flip this around over here and I can keep recording and as you can see right here we have the list of the uh, videos in my um, channel right and then if I go to my channel but if you go straight to your actual channel right when you go to your channel you see your own channel right here you can actually click on this little shorts tab now or click on the popular to sort them by the order of the popularity right so you see you have 2.6k views 1.2k views so so far I've only recorded about 30 seconds of this short and I'm going to kind of tell people about the fact that they can go to my blog to go check this out because this is actually let's turn this on over here it's cis434 right so I'm going to tell them about that too and it's interesting that this is a short and it's kind of interesting to see look at that there's a short here that's actually a vertical of, of a horizontal video it's kind of weird I'm not really sure how that happened but like I said I'm doing this is an episode it's called it's called course income secrets episode number uh 434 so you're going to go to cis434.jsgagnon.com I'll probably put the link down below but yeah go check it out so that's uh, me recording a short from my phone right as you can see on my phone right now I'm recording it you can actually see me hello right there <laughs> right so let's just finish this off and say uh, that over here um there's other things on here that I haven't really used because of the green screen right so you can kind of see those things I'm not sure what that let's turn that off what is that I don't want to I want to turn turn it off and she drag to oh I'm not sure what's going on here but let's just flip it around and finish off the recording and and there you go not sure what's going on there <laughs> okay so now after you've done that you just click on the net you can add text on the screen and other things like that kind of like with the uh, TikTok where you can actually add text you know I say hey there right and I put that here and if I want that to just show for the first five seconds I just click on it timing and then I just make it show up just the first few seconds uh and then when it plays it won't show up until that moment right so doing tests here whoops right put the color put down here timing doing over here right there and then I can go back and I can say learn more whoops that's not what I wanted so done I wanted some more text I want to say learn more at cis434 I believe that's right 
yes dot to s to a g and the line um, right so I'm going to make this like this make this a little bit smaller so it fits all on the screen as you can see right here you can kind of make this that's the font size and I'm going to move it down to the bottom here and I'm going to make it show up here right just at the end so there you go so now if I whoops timeline I can go back here I can play it starts up right it shows the video from the beginning and then you can see the text show up on the screen right hey there right and um then when I get to the next anyways whatever so that's kind of how you do a recorded short I click on next I can then say this is a test short during live recording of episode 434 right episode 434 so that's just going to be the title it doesn't obviously that's not you know normally when you're doing a short you're going to have the right title there you got to have it done right and everything but for me I'm just going to do that for now to kind of show you how that works click on done upload the short and now it's adding it to my shorts if I click on the part recently updated if I refresh this it shouldn't be too long before it shows up maybe maybe that's anyways okay so here's that's one way of doing shorts the other way is to upload one right I'm not sure if there's a way to, there it is see it's showing up now no views yet but okay so now if I do another one I can click on plus here and uh, let's see if I want to upload uh yeah just uh let's see oh yeah sorry I turned the phone off uh okay so when you go here and you click on that little plus and you want to upload a video create a short you actually want to do create a short I think that if you upload a video and it's certain uh, length it'll also convert it to a short but let's not worry about that we're going to do create a short and then instead of recording like we did earlier also we don't need to change this I don't think let's leave it at this I'm going to click on this and lets me upload a video so right here I have two recent TikTok videos that I did that had to do with my daughter's birthday I'm just going to click on this and oh yes there you go okay so that does do the 15 seconds so if I let's back up first I have to change it to the 60 second short if I want to keep the whole video then I go to the upload I choose it and now it lets me do 59 seconds of that video right I say done and it says processing it basically just adds that video just like that as a short right and it's uploading it now or processing I'm not sure if it's uploading or processing but it's doing it now and uh, you can see in, the, in a second there it'll finish and then it'll show me the video as it is and again over here I can add some text um actually not here yet there's different things you can do so you do like now over here I can add some text if I say uh Savannah 10th birthday party right oops there we go and let's put the word away then. there we go put that up here and I can you know obviously I could make this uh into I can make a timeline that we started earlier but let's not worry about that let's just click on next and then I can again I can put that in here too right that's the title now remember this is YouTube so whatever you put in the title is important because it's used for SEO and search and all that right so obviously in my case I'm just not worrying about it because I'm just doing it to show you then I click on done and upload short so now it's uploading this other short that I just basically recorded in a story or in TikTok it allows me to create a short from that just by uploading it right so that's the second way to create a short in YouTube using your phone right if you're already creating videos for TikTok or for your stories or things like that and you want to just repurpose them this is one way to do it uh, on YouTube now why do you want that because uh, you want to have 
more views on your videos right so this is what we're talking about more views on your videos growing your audience finding them someplace else and the thing is that whatever you post if you're posting a very specific content for your audience and you've got all that dialed in and you're doing a great job of making sure you post content that's related to your audience that's great but keep in mind that you're also supposed to be branding yourself so you got to be posting things about other things that are going on in your life especially in shorts shorts TikTok stories try to do things that are also letting your audience learn who you are what you're about right okay so that's another thing let's go back here see if that video is there hasn't loaded yet I'm not really sure how that updates right but okay let's talk about the third way to do shorts and uh we're already at 15 well, we're only 15 we've got lots of time okay so the third way to do shorts is to take your already uploaded videos and take make shorts out of them there's there's a really cool advantage to that see this one here that's got 780 views right this one here uh can I even pause it oh yeah there you go okay so this one here that says 780 views I have no idea why this one got 780 views but this one here you see down the bottom here it says created from uh on the bottom right above my name right that the well first of all the the bottom thing where you've got your uh, I got my face there and my name is that's the name of my channel right that's on all the videos but the one that's got a little arrow in front of it it shows that it was created from an existing video I already have which is me I post content every week that has to do with getting my audience to to get it to get them on my list go through my blog there's a whole whole process I've got right and what I want is I want people to actually go to my blog post to read my blog post like you're watching this and or you're listening to the audio and you haven't been to my blog yet maybe you will maybe you won't but still the the goal is for me to get people to go to my blog so that they end up getting on my email list right and this is how you do it here see if I click on this now it takes me to the original video it takes me to the original video that I created that short from and this is the video that has you know the whole description of my blog post and the links and the link to my blog and everything else right and I want people to go to that that's my goal is getting people to go to my blog post so that they you know they go to the video they go to the blog post etc and all that and the way you do that is using these shorts okay so how do you create these shorts how do you create a short that comes from a video that you already have well first you got to go to your videos and you've got to go find your videos that you want to create a short from and and you know on your phone you go to library and that shows you your videos and your shorts right see on your phone you can click on this it'll show you just your shorts on the computer you don't see that because see if I go back if I hide my phone again and I go back to just my computer here and I go to my library you see all my videos here right actually it shows the like video this is not what I'm on your video sorry your videos if you go to your videos it takes you to creator studio well we already had it open there but anyways yeah you go there it takes you to your videos your list of videos if it can load up here um and then as you can see there's only videos in live there's no other tabs right so I can't and the shorts are kind of mixed into here right these are the two shorts I just did just now there's no views yet right uh these are not updated in real time it might take a, an hour or so or to be updated but these ones have no views yet right and this is the test short one I did and my savannah 10th birthday party right okay so if I show you my phone now on my phone you can see there's a videos which is everything uh, actually it's not everything oh, okay it's just the videos I guess if I click on that's new because it used to have everything now it just has it has the tabs so shorts and videos are separate tabs if you will so now I have my shorts here and then if I click on videos of my video okay so now if I want to create a short I already did a short if I look at these shorts so what I've been doing in the last little bit is creating three 
shorts from each of my videos because you know my videos are like 30 minutes long and what I want to do is I want to have a little short that kind of gives a glimpse of that video and maybe somebody's going to be looking at it and thinking oh I want to go check that video out so I create three of them so you see right here there's three of them I don't know if you can is there a way for me to not read I guess I can write on can I write on my screen anyways you see the the top three that are there right those are all the same they all have the same title uh no sorry about uh, these ones so these top three they're all the same title how to make your wordpress blogs Pete right they're the same thing and there are three shorts I did from the one video which is this one here that one at the top here number 433 that video I did three shorts now I can do th some more to show you how to do it so you go to your video you just go on the video and it, you know you can start playing it I don't need to play it I'll pause it so you go to the video and then you'll see down the bottom here it says remix remix with a little plus right there you click on that and then it says edit into a short so you choose that and then you just have the video right there and you can choose you see how it's playing already right I'll pause it but basically you can choose a, I can drag the 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 background if you will around right I can go to a section of the video where I kind of want to use as maybe a short so I can go anywhere it doesn't and now I can also use the this whoops can I no I can't I guess I can't I thought I could drag oh yes I can okay I can also use this the little um line with the little circle on it to drag it around to move it to where I want so I'm just going to go here to the beginning where it's me just talking here right so over here you can choose to make it less than 10 seconds if you want in my case I don't want to have this intro here I'm going to move it a little bit maybe okay so then I basically have this short video it's 7.4 seconds right now I can make it a little bit longer if I want maybe six seconds I made six seconds it'll be a six second short and that's kind of how you do it you choose which part of your video you can it can be any any part of your video it doesn't really matter then I click on next here and it creates the short for me and there you go and again I can put text on here right I can do whatever I want I can there's filters other things that I won't be talking about in this video but just want to show you how to use the sh the the remix to create a short from your long video I click on that then I click on next up here and this is where I would put the same text I have I believe I probably have it in my clipboard in the in the let me show more so this is the actual title I had for it so that's the same as what um as what I did for the other three right so I'm just doing a, a fourth one I guess and then I just go and I say upload short so the thing is when you create a short you can't put a description when you're creating it but I still want the description from this video so I go to the video which is this video here let's go back to my videos and I click on the three little dots I say edit and I take the description that's here and I just take the whole thing oops I just go select all and copy right then I go back and I just don't there's no change so I'm not going to do that but then I go back to my shorts here which is the one I just did right here this is the one I just did right now right which has no views because I just did it 30 seconds ago I just click on the three dots here also edit and there's description see how it says add description I go on that and I just paste whatever I copied from the other one which is the same description right they're both I mean you could be better and make a specific description for that short to try to attract certain types of audience or things like that but me I'm just doing that like this then you just click the back here and you click the save so now I have this new one that I just did that has no views yet but as you can tell from the three that are here that I did before ah okay that's why they're all showing <laughs> so one little note I just noticed something here but anyways you got the three shorts that are here one that has 30 views one view and 780 views they're all for the same full video which is the number that's 33 minutes there 
and that lets me create these three now that the reason I'm creating three you know is I'm actually kind of testing that because I kind of started that not long ago but I want to see if it'll actually do what I'm assuming it does or at least it looks like it's doing is that it'll randomly choose one of them and share it more than others people will see it more based on I don't know if it's the text maybe, maybe there's there's probably other rules you might want to look into that yourself as well to try to figure out how to make it view more but for now for me it's just like how do you create shorts from your full video that's all I did right there all right so the other thing I was noticing that I wanted to mention here is that you see how I was clicking on the videos shows me just my long videos click on the short shows me just my shorts I was like how do I see all of them you just click on that again and it makes that not black anymore so now it shows everything right so that's kind of how that that's kind of how that works so yeah so that's how you create shorts for YouTube like I said there's three different ways to do it Num well more probably more but at least these three ways number one is record an actual video using your phone the same as you would do for TikTok or stories well it's very similar anyways the process is very similar there's similar tools similar things you can do that's the first way to do it second way is to upload something you already recorded as a short in YouTube so you can record like me I do TikTok videos I do short st stories and those ones I can re-upload to um to YouTube as a short just because it's you know content that's re being repurposed right and the third way of doing shorts is from a full video where you do a remix of that video well hopefully you enjoyed and if you have any questions as always you can always reach out and we'll see you in the next episode this has been Course Income Secrets, the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon, until next time.